Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Today, I'm going to try a full face of product that I got from makeup and skincare calendars. Now, I do have maybe three, four things that I got in my subscription boxes that I want to use today and try out. So if you're interested to see what products I'm talking about and what products I'm going to use, then please keep on watching. You requested, guys, this video. You really wanted me to try these products and see how they work today. Uh, I'm going to do some. So uh, first of all, I want, it's kind of like 4, 4.30 p.m. And I washed my hair for two hours ago and I just felt like I want to film. So I remember that I promised you to do this video. I'm here today to do so. Uh, but before we go on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. I'm planning to uh, already have products for next giveaway when this one ends. And I'm going to put information, I think, up here or down below so you can check it out. But I want to try this Rodeo Dragon Blood Lip Mask that I got in my Look Fantastic calendar. And also the Incredible Chase Your Rainbow Brightening Sheet Mask that I got in my subscription box, goodie box. Uh, so I want to try those, these two together today. So let's try with the lips. Plump 100 lips. I'm not going to go into details about every product. If I do so, this video will be like two hours long, guys. But I did order the um, goodie box. Ooh, this is screaming, the goodie box calendar. So that will be here soon. Okay, so we have the product here. Lip mask. Can't talk like this. Uh -huh. So guys, it's been 50 minutes. Let's remove this. Okay. Ooh. Feels so comfortable on the face. I really like this lip though mask. Feels like it plumped my lips. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it plumped my lips. Let's just massage the rest of it on oh, my face. is so cold and my hands are warm. I really feel like it plumped my lips. I like how my lips look after this mask. Yes, it definitely plumped my lips. Ooh, I like it. I didn't get any eyeshadow primer, but I'm going to use the P. Louise base. And I did couple, did get a couple of uh, very good uh, palettes, eyeshadow palettes. But I put some uh, in my giveaways because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I don't want to use them all. I feel it's better to put some in my giveaways so you guys can try them. So that is what I did. So, but I kept one palette and I kept this from Essence, Make Your Own Magic. Now I tried Essence eyeshadow palette before. I think I tried one. I have a video where I tried full face of, oh, I got some under my eyes. Uh, full face of essence products, but I actually didn't like that eyeshadow palette. So I hope I will like this one more. I really wanted to try it. I do like essence other face products, but this one not really. So I'm going to set it with some powder. I'm going to use Huda Beauty powder. I didn't get any powder either, but that doesn't matter. I know some people don't like to set this eyeshadow base I do like to set it a little bit so I get two Luxy brushes in the Look Fantastics uh, calendar and I got two NYX in NYX calendar so I'm going to use only those and I have this nice uh, crease kind of uh, crease kind of um, brush I'm going to use this sweet little palette it's kind of cute And I wanted to give this 
shade here that it's a little bit pink or purplish there is a lot of powder there and just try to have it in my crease let me see it no not actually it's not really visible but we can set everything oh this brush is very nice then I want to go in with this shade here this one The brush is picking a lot of powder, but I can't really see it because it, it's very powdery. At least swatches. Oh my god, it's almost like my skin. It looks darker in the pan than it does that it does on the swatch. But let's go to this deep shade instead and try to build that in the crease. Very powdery though. I don't have really a uh, luck with some uh, affordable eyeshadow palettes that I've been trying lately. This turns more like gray on the eyes, but let's just use what we have. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to try to take this dark shimmery purple shade and apply it on the end of the eye. It looks really nice. I really hope... Um, this will work, but I because I did keep this palette just because of the that this shade. And it's going on the eye nice. It's turning out nice on the eye. And I said I'm going to keep it on the other corner, but I like this shade, so I'm going to go all over the eyelid. But we are going to go in with other shades too, I promise. I'm going to go in with this other lighter pink shade with my pinky and apply that here. Well, it turns, oh my god, it turns like um, silver on the eye. I'm a little bit disappointed because I didn't want any silver on my eyelid but, but I'm going to go in with this uh, NYX brush that I got and go into this dark silver shade I'm going to wet the brush because I want to create like an eyeliner I did get some eyeliners in my uh, maybe I should pick that up too yes let's do so just a second so I went to my Look Fantastic calendar and I did take out the Lord & Barry um, smudge eyeliner and I'm going to use it to smudge it before we go with that, uh, with that silver shade. This one is nice and black. So I really like this eyeliner, it goes on very nice and smooth. So let's go with that brush and go in with that silver shade. I did wet the brush like I said before. So powdery, this is, it's powder everywhere. And let's smudge it. This works. I'm going to take this smaller brush, look see, mini taped brush and go in that dark uh, shade that we had in the crease and try to blend the crease a little bit. Hmm. I feel like the eyeshadow faded a little bit, so I'm going to go and take a brush, another brush, take Morphe and Jacqueline Hill 41 brush and take that dark purple that we had with the brush try to fill it up
let's go back to that light purple that we had. I'm going to clean under my eyes. So guys, I did apply the, the foundation off camera, so we just saved the time. Now I'm going to try this. I got something in the eye. I got the eye concealer. It's clear. Corrector is neutral from the goodie box uh, this month or last month. And it's peace or peace, I think. And this is the corrector. I'm going to use it as, oh, it, it's like a brush. Applicator. That's interesting. Brightening concealer. So we are going to bright a little bit. No. Let's first try this much, and then we'll see if we need to go in a bit more. Get here on my beauty blender. It blends light nice, but it's definitely light coverage. I'm going to try to build it up a little bit more. Not hating it. I just prefer more coverage. But let's see if we can build it up. I haven't tried anything from that brand before, so. I'm going to set everything with some Huda Beauty powder. I didn't get any powder, or I don't remember, or can't find any powder in. I've got so I'm going to set it with Huda Beauty cupcake and set the whole face. I love this powder. I did get the cream contour from uh, Essence, but I'm not going to use that today. I'm actually just going to bronze my face. And I did got this uh, Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer Powder in Light Skin. And I'm going to use that one. Looks so nice. It's a little bit powdery. But it's building up nice. Oh, my children are having so much fun in the room playing games. This bronzer is very nice, natural, but also builds, uh, but also builds up very easy. I like it. It gives me that natural look. Blending also nice. That's what I can see. It has, it says matte, but it has a nice satin. I feel like it's satin or not matte, matte at all. It says luminous matte powder, bronzy powder, but definitely not matte, but I like it. I like Essence bronzers. I have a couple of them and I've been liking every, every single, so this one is very nice. Now I don't have a blush, but I am going to use one of my favorite blushes. It's from Bare Mineral that I got from my friend Valerie, Gen Nude in shade that peach though. That's one of my favorite blushes. Whoop, sorry. It's very nice, I like it. I do have a lot of fallout from the eyeshadow, but we are going to go in that eyeshadow again. But we're going to try this pink plummy shade or pink peachy shade. It's not that pigmented. So much brighter. All the shades are brighter um, on the eyes than they are in the pan. I'm going to clean the brush and I'm going to take this silver shade or mix it the silver and the gold shade and apply as a highlighter on the eye. Oh, this worked nice. This worked nice though. So we are going to try another product and now we are going to try this Essence Kayal Pencil in Teddy. It's a nice shade. I'm going to have it in my waterline and also smudge it on my lower lash line. So we dark it up a little bit.
I'm going to use the brush from NYX, just clean it a little bit and smudge this pen. That worked nice. I like that. I'm liking this so far, so I'm going to go and uh, use the bra product. I got in my, uh, what is it called? Look Fantastic. It's, uh, Look Fantastic calendar. I got this brow groom, double-ended eyebrow groomer from Delia. D Delia? Delia? Or Delia? I don't know the brand. Um, but it looked interesting. It looked like my shade. This is called Sable. It's a very nice packaging. So it has a nice spoolie and a product. So let's... Hmm. Well, we lost... Ooh, I like this spoolie a lot. really like this eyebrow product and also like that it also smudges when you use this spoolie afterwards sometimes when i use this kind of pants when i go in with a spoolie to blend it in the shade disappears and i don't like that this is working very nice then i'm going to go in a highlighter that i got from essence calendar one of the essence calendar this is uh oprid the magic or a pray, a pray the magic baked highlighter. I don't know. Baked highlighter in can't say see the name of the shade. Cas Casnova, maybe no. It's this nice shade. I don't think it's going to be too dark for my skin. I hope not, but we'll see. Kind of feel like it's going to be, but hopefully it's not. Let's go in with this on a brush. Hmm. It's okay. I like the highlight. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. I like the glow. Can you see? Okay, I'm going to set the face before we go in with mascara and lipstick. I got this as a last draw in the Look Fantastic calendar. This is Omoritza, Omoritza Budapest Queen of Hung Hungary Mist. And let's, it's a beautiful packaging. Let's set the, everything. Mm. It has a nice mist. And I like it. Applied a little bit too much, but. I like it. So let's go in with the mascara first. I got a couple of mascaras. I didn't know which one I will use, but I did uh, choose one that I haven't tried before that I heard a lot of, a lot about. I never tried any. I I never tried NYX mascara, so I choose the NYX mascara today. That is what I'm going to use. And this is the where the hype NYX. I don't remember trying this one. Correct me down below if you've seen me trying this one. I don't remember. So let me know down below if you try this mascara from NYX or any mascara. Oh, I like the wand. I'm already liking the wand. Let's see. This is one coat and I'm really liking how my lashes are looking. Very nice, curved, 
full, but also separated. I'm liking this mascara so far. Really liking this mascara. I thought that I'm going to use falsies today, not that I got any in the, I think I got one pair, I don't remember where it is, in my calendars, in one of my calendars, but I'm not going to use it because I really like how this mascara made my eyelashes look. I'm liking this mascara so far. So now we have the lips left. I got so many lip products that I didn't know what to use, but I really decided to try the product that I haven't used before. And one of them is Ilomascua Co Coloring Pencil Lip Crayon in shade Raw. Now I got a couple of, it's like a nude shade. Let me swatch it. I got this kind of, uh, this brand before in my subscription boxes. But I never used them. I always got, gave away the, these. But I'm going to use this one today. I think I got it in Luke Fantastic's calendar. It's a little bit hard. This lip liner shade is like almost like my own lip, lip color, but just a little bit lighter. Now I have to say this was a little bit hard on the lips before. Uh, it took a, it took it a while to get warm on my skin, so it glide, so it could glide better. But I like it. Uh, it looks very nice on the lips. And then I haven't tried before. I know I got, but I always give away. Mellow, mellow. Mellow Cosmetics lipsticks. Now I got one in Tehran. Tehran, it's matte lipstick. I think I pronounced it right. This nice dark nude shade or nude shade. A little bit dark brown on me. Let's try it on. Ooh, I like it. I like this shade. I love this shade on the lips. Lips, I really like this uh, lip shade. I don't know. It feels matte. It dries down. Doesn't feel uncomfortable, but I don't know how it's going to feel after a couple of hours. But I do want to go over with the lip gloss, and this is lip gloss in from Sandstone. This I got in my subscription box from the uh, goodie box. And it's this nice shade. I think I tried with, it looks like a dark, purple, dark pink with gold shimmer in it. I know I tried it in that video when I unboxed this box before, or the box where this was in. I like this combo. I'm liking this combo a lot. So guys, this is the full face, or almost full face with products that I got in my, um, in my calendars and subscription boxes. And I really like how makeup turned out. Now I'm not a big fan of the eyeshadow palette though. It's the only thing and I don't really think I'm going to reach for. Um, it's just not as pigmented. It takes a little bit, um, it takes some time to build up and, uh, use but i do like the bronzer i do like the highlighter i do like the lip products uh, so much i love the mascara uh, brushes are amazing eyebrow products is amazing i think everything else uh, i th i also like the concealer i have to say everything melted into the skin it looks nice feels like i don't have a concealer so i'm liking all of the products so far um but let me know down below if you want to see more of these videos because I do have more products to try in uh, to try on. So if you want to see that, please let me know down below. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye!